Hey guys, I um, don't normally do two videos so close together because then I feel like that whatever video is posted first, people don't watch. But I wanted to go ahead and show you because I know that I promised you um, I would do a quick review on the Bath & Body Works Fall Scents. And I went ahead and just ordered when they had their buy three get three sale, the ritual of all of them. And then with the coupon code, I really only, only ended up paying like 35 bucks. So really, well, it's a pretty good deal for all that I got. I got all of the shower gels in all four scents. I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to show you those because you pretty much know that the shower gel has the same label as the lotion. So I'll just show you those instead. But the first one, of course, that I've already shown you is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I'm digging this packaging. I just think it is so pretty and so appropriate for fall. The only thing I don't understand is on some of them, there's like a, a random flower thing. I don't know if you all have noticed. And I keep trying to figure out what flower or what that has to do with fall. I mean, it's not obvious enough for you to be like, but I just was curious to know what the heck it is. But the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin this year is much lighter and less spicy than last year. So I know a lot of people, their biggest complaint about it last year was that it was just too spicy for them and they didn't like that it was all cinnamon and no pumpkin. And this one smells pretty much identical, only it's less, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like abrasive. It's not as in your face as last year's. You can spray a whole lot more and it's not nearly as spicy. So I have a feeling if you're wanting to try this scent and are hesitant, go ahead and try this year's version because it's a little um, less intense. And I'll go ahead and show you the lotion in that too. And again, I love. I think the packaging on the um, Fine Fragrance Mist are really um, just so pretty. And then the next one is a Honey Autumn Apple. Thank you for, um, I can't remember who it was, but in my last video, I gotta get to these comments, <laughs> was uh, straightening out the names for me. I always call this one the wrong name. It's like Honey Harvest Apple, Honey Autumn Apple, Honey Snapple Apple, I don't know. This is Honey Autumn Apple, and I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I think that my feelings on it are pretty much the same as most of the people that have posted videos. It's a little lighter. It's quite a bit sweeter than last year. I felt like last year's had more of um, what's the word I'm looking for, like a bakery kind of scent to it and I feel like this one and I'm going to smell the lotion again just to make sure I haven't actually it's the only one I haven't worn yet not because I don't like it just because I've only had it you know for like two days so I haven't tried it out but it smells um well if I get the dang thing open yeah it's definitely more of um like an apple and I smell just maybe a tiny bit of cinnamon. But I really like this one, and I think it's really appropriate for fall. And a lot of people are saying that this is their favorite. And it's funny because I talked to a sales associate at my Bath & Body Works, and she said she actually prefers last year's better because it was a lot stronger and had more um, of like a cinnamon or graham cracker kind of smell to it. And I'm not sure. I don't really get that from this. It smells more fresh to me. But I think that people are going to like that one. Sorry for bending over. I'm setting them on the table so my dog doesn't knock them over. And then the next one is the Dreamy Vanilla Woods. I mean, look at that packaging. That is gorgeous. And again, there's the random mystery flower. <laughs> what the heck is that? If anyone knows, let me know because it's driving me crazy. But Vanilla Woods, I'm really liking. I liked it last year, too. Um, and this, to me, smells pretty much identical. Again, I feel like this year they just went lighter on the scents, and I think that's kind of the only difference. I mean, other people that I've been watching, um, I think I feel like we're all kind of in the same opinion that these are pretty much last year's scents, only just a little lighter, a little cleaner than they were. And so this one, I have to say, I love it. I really like it, and I've been wearing it a lot. But I'm disappointed because the hype about it was that it was going to be, it was going to smell like a cinnamon spice cookie. And it was supposed to smell like a vanilla cookie with a cinnamon, um, almost like, I don't want to say graham crackers, but what are those? There's some kind of cookie that you can buy like year round in the store. Just basically like a sugar cookie with cinnamon, maybe a snickerdoodle kind of smell. And so when I heard that, I was like mad crazy calling the Bath and Body Works within a driving distance trying to find it and then when I heard it was the same scent I was kind of like bummer but um, I do really like that one 
and here's the packaging on that and it smells really good what i like about this particular year's version is where it is not as strong and it i it's very long lasting i find if i put it on my arms i go in to teach um, i have to be at work about 8 45 and i usually get home about three or four and i can smell it you know almost as strong as i could in the morning so i like that it's very long lasting formula but it um it's a, a good scent, like a layering scent. So if you have a perfume that you think would go well with vanilla, I feel like this is going to be really good for that. And it smells particularly good, I think, with the cashmere woods. They're just a good complement for each other for whatever reason. And then the other one I got, of course, was the brown sugar and fig. I had never bought brown sugar and fig. And um, one of my friends was saying how much she likes it. And I thought, you know what? I might as well, since I get the free one anyway, so I figured I would try it, and I love the purple packaging. And there's the <laughs> Bob the Builder onion head guy. And I really think the packaging is just gorgeous. And I'm kind of liking this one. I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure because I tried Philosophy's, um, gosh, what the heck was that thing called? They had one out for their Christmas scent last year that I believe had, like, penguins on the packaging. And I got it because I was really crazy over the holiday scents last year from Philosophy. And when I got it home, I was like, I do not like the smell. And so I was really afraid because it was a fig-based scent, too, that I would hate this one. And it's kind of growing on me. Um, I don't really know what a fig smells like, to be honest with you. I've had them on stuff and cooked in foods, but I've never really, um, like, smelled what they smell like. You know, just like, a, you know, holding a fig in your hand and smelling it. So I have no idea if this is an accurate fig smell or not. But I really like it. It's got a very, it's very fall to me. It's very warm and kind of a foodie smell. And it just smells to me, I guess, like a sugary fig maybe. But it definitely makes me think of fall and Thanksgiving time for some reason. But I do like that. So I'm going to try it out and wear it for a little longer. But let me know if you found any goodies. Um, especially this Labor Day, people with all the sales. And yeah, I hate to admit this, but I have never really made a home fragrance purchase from Bath & Body Works before. And the more I'm seeing videos of people's candle reviews and talking about, like, especially Autumn Day I want now and Pumpkin Cupcake and things I never thought I would ever purchase. Now I'm like, dang, i got to save my money for the um, fragrance event next week so I can get my pumpkin carvings candle. So I just might actually make a home fragrance purchase. And if I do, of course I'll do. A video about that but Rochelle and I have a lot of really fun videos planned for fall and for Halloween some of the tags that we found are I think hilarious I'm super pumped about all that but let me know if there's a fallish or Halloween type video or tag you'd like for us to do in the comments below and let me know if you have a YouTube channel so I can help um, for lack of a better word pimp you out and promote you so if you have a YouTube channel that you're starting and want subscribers not that I have you know like millions or anything to contribute but let me know and I'll try to mention you in my videos have a really really good weekend and thanks for all my happy birthday wishes bye